Hello, probably you have heard of App Image, which allows you to download applications from the web and run them on your Linux distribution. Let's go to the App Image homepage. This page explains how all of this stuff works, and there is also a little demonstration here of the subsurface app image, which I will download now. Let's save this to disk. And once the app image has downloaded, let's go to the directory where it has been downloaded to. Here it is. Now, if we simply double click the app image, we will get an error message saying the app image cannot be opened since there is no application installed for executable files. This is actually a security measure so that random stuff you download from the internet isn't getting executed inadvertently. So let's say no here and let's go to properties, permissions and click allow executing this file as program. If we do that and then double click subsurface it will run. Here it is. So now some people have asked me whether it would be possible to a not need this extra step marking the application as executable and b whether we could run those applications in a sandbox so that the security impact is at least somewhat limited. So for that I started a little experiment that we can also get here from the app image homepage. Let's go here and let's click this icon which brings us to the GitHub page. There is a directory called Sandbox and this dir directory contains a little description here as well as an experimental very alpha stage deb file which I'm going to download now. Now to install this let's use the command sudo dpkg Dash i downloads this app image sandbox deb file. It has been installed. So now I need to restart the file manager for the changes to take effect. I'm doing this by kill all Nautilus. So now if I go to the download window again, let's check here, permissions, the executable bit is not set. I'm just going to double click on the icon. It's saying running sandboxed up here and as you can see the application is running. Now what does this sandboxing stuff actually mean? The application is now running with read-only access to the file system, so a malicious app image is not able to, for example, delete all your stuff from your home directory. Let's give a practical example how this looks in practice here. Let's go to bintray.com pro bono. This is a little directory of app images that I provide and there is a very small demo application called leafpad which is a little text editor. I will download this app image. Just download it here, save, there it is, double click and it's running sandboxed as we can see. Now, if I type something here and tr try to save this, for example, in my home directory, it says can't open file to write. This is because the application runs inside the sandbox which cannot access the file system for writing. So in order to write, actually what I have to do is close all of this and I cannot save the changes, go to properties, set the executable bit and if I run the application now you see it's not running in the sandbox anymore and now it's possible to save stuff. 
So, this is it for the sandbox. Let me know what you think. This is, as I said, very experimental stuff, very new. Please leave a comment in the comment section below or participate in the App Image Kit open source project, which you can find on GitHub. Again, here is the address github.com pro bono pd app image kit. Thanks for watching.